In this video, we will demonstrate how to update your P30 and P32 employer payment record and record payments made to HMRC. First, select the HMRC Payments tab. The first time you enter this facility, you'll be asked to set up your HMRC payment schedule. Select either monthly or quarterly as required, then press continue. A summary of your tax, NIC and student loan liability for the first month or quarter of the tax year will be displayed on the screen. If you have received any funding from HMRC in the month or quarter to refund tax to employees, this amount can be entered in the field provided in the tax section. Similarly, if you have suffered any CIS deductions in this period, enter accordingly. Under the NIC section, if you have received any funding from HMRC to pay statutory pay, the amount received can be entered here. If you are eligible to claim the employment allowance, click on Enable and follow the on-screen instructions. Once the employment allowance has been enabled, RightPay will automatically calculate the amount of employer NIC that can be deducted from your liability to HMRC. For assistance with claiming the employment allowance, please view our separate tutorial on this topic. At the bottom of the screen, the amount due to HMRC will be displayed. If you make a payment to HMRC for this tax period, enter this amount in the Amount Paid field and enter your payment date. If no payment has been paid for this tax period, simply leave the Amount Paid field as zero and enter the last date of the tax period in the Payment Date field. Click Save Changes to update the summary. Please note a date must be present in the Payment Date field before you can view the next period. After saving your changes, both the P30 and P32 Employer Payments record will be updated to reflect any amounts made to or received from HMRC in the tax period in question. To access the P30, Simply click the button provided at the top of the screen. This can be printed or exported if you wish. Likewise, your P32 employer payment record can be viewed and printed at any time by clicking the P32 button on the menu bar. This will provide you with a detailed breakdown of all statutory and legislative payroll payments and recoveries you have made or received during the tax year. If at any time you would like to switch your HMRC payment schedule from monthly to quarterly or vice versa, simply click the switch button on the menu bar. Please note however that switching from one schedule to another will result in the loss of any amounts already entered in the previous schedule and will need to be entered again. Under RTI, if you have statutory payments to recover or have suffered CIS deductions in a particular tax month or quarter, an employer payment summary must be submitted to inform HMRC of the reductions you are entitled to make to the totals already submitted on your full payment submissions. If an EPS is due to HMRC, BrightPay will prompt you to do this as soon as you enter a payment date in the tax month or quarter in question. Alternatively, the EPS can be submitted by selecting the RTI tab followed by New and Employer Payment Summary. For further assistance with submitting an employer payment summary, please view the tutorial RTI submissions. Please note, if you have moved to BrightPay mid-tax year from another payroll provider and recovered statutory pay amounts in the previous software, amounts already recovered should be entered within the statutory pay recovered utility within HMRC payments to ensure that you report the correct recoverable year-to-date figures to HMRC.